Welcome back! It's been a long time, hasn't it? Or not. It's really good to see you this morning, evening, or afternoon because I know that the internet doesn't have a time frame. As you'll notice, I have production value. There's something here, there's something here, there's something here. To continue with this series, we're gonna lay out the bracing pattern. As you can see here, I have the inner line traced onto this top. What we'll have to do is establish our convergence point. So if we want our bracing more laid in, we'll move our convergence point down. And if we want it more upright, we'll move it upwards. This is all to be determined on your own instrument based off of how your top behaves. I can see that this is a very flexible top, so I'm gonna want a bit more stiffness. And with the stiffness, I'm going to use a lower convergence point and bring everything together. So first things first, reestablish the center line. From there, I want to mark out where my saddle position is. The saddle position for me, since this is a 630 millimeter guitar, from this mark, I know that that is where my neck meets the body. So that means from there, I am going to measure 315 millimeters here. At 315 millimeters, then I can use my handy dandy 120 degree angle, get it lined up directly on my line so that I know it's square, and I like to just give one stripe across. I can start laying out everything. Quick tip for you guys at home. When you're measuring an Antonio Torres, don't use millimeters because it doesn't line up. Use inches because it lines up. I like to just place my ruler at the center line at the six inch mark. So he generally went on two inch centers going up. But I'm seeing that my last two braces are going to be too tight. I was originally planning on seven, but I think what I want to do is five. I'm going to make a tick here at two inches, four, eight, and ten. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just kind of put a loose straight edge up to kind of visualize everything. And if I think that this looks good. I mean, this has enough room for the wings for me because remember, we've got the linings here. This is actually the line of our linings. I might want to think about splaying this out. So instead of two inches, because this is a five brace, as we have decided, I might go five and a quarter inches, which will push the outer two maybe out to here, which I actually like a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to visually look at things because oftentimes if it looks good, it's going to sound good. It's weird how it works. I'm gonna go two and a quarter out here. One and two, and just kind of look at it. And I actually like the spacing a lot better. So, two and a quarter. You're probably looking at this going, you could have just measured at four and a half. Yes, I could have, but I don't like to make mistakes. And anytime I have addition, I run the risk of making a mistake. This ruler is a little short. Through editing, I'm gonna make this one big again. Ah, there we go. So, I wanna figure out my convergence point. I'm gonna bring the convergence point to the body. Now, this is much more parallel. Once I know that I'm gonna be working to the center line of the body, that gives me my convergence point, and I'm just gonna trace out every single brace using two points of contact. First point is the body neck joint, the other will be this line that we have here. Center line's already marked, and then we've got this one. So now we've got our body set up. We can now make the determination on where our lower V is going to be located. Keep in mind that this line is going to be the middle line of your brace, and all these lines are the, the center of my brace. So I could go down here, but to me, this is too close. I personally, for whatever reason, like to give about you know, seven millimeters. That takes you seven millimeters up. This is all a matter of personal preference. What we're gonna do at this point is now use this 120 degree angle to establish our V. So line up your center line on your center line, hold it down, and don't miss. And just like that, we've got our bracing pattern roughly laid out. Now we're gonna have our cross braces here and cross braces here, but I'm not gonna worry about that because I wanna feel the stiffness of the top and be able to shape the braces as needed. So with that said, let's cut some braces. 
Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying watching me build a guitar loosely based off of this Antonio Torres, send me pictures of what you're building because I'd love to see it. If you want to see more about this, consider subscribing to my Patreon where I will have a ton more content and exclusive videos just for you. Like, subscribe, and use promo code YouTube for $500 off your guitar and you can even see yours most likely, possibly, maybe get built on this channel. See you next time.